Hi you guys, I'm glad you made it back. But if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to my GMC do-it-yourself repair channel. In my channel here, you'll see I have tons of videos that I'm sure that I have something in here that'll interest you. It doesn't take a lot of experience or knowledge and doesn't take a lot of tools. And one thing for sure, you're gonna to save tons of money. So before you go to a mechanic or the dealership, click on the upper right hand corner there and explore my channel. I'm sure I have something in there that's gonna save you some money. But before we get started, please Please don't forget to like and subscribe this really helps my channel and by the way hit that bell and leave a comment and believe it or not if you leave a comment I respond back to you yeah I know I don't have a life so I have nothing else better to do hi you guys welcome back well, today I wanted to talk to you about your power folding mirrors. There were some things that I found out about these mirrors that I wanted to share with you. What happened to me was I found out if you move these mirrors manually, they'll become unset. Now, even if you manually move the mirrors or if you accidentally move the mirrors, these mirrors need to be reset. And I didn't know that. And what will happen is your mirrors won't stay in the unfolded position. Or thirdly, your mirrors will either flutter or shake as you're driving in normal speeds. So when my mirror started acting up, I thought I had to replace one. But come to find out, you have to reset them. So that's what I'm going to do today is show you how to reset them. It doesn't require any tools and it's really simple to do. So if your mirrors are acting up, before you take it to a mechanic or take it to a dealer where they're going to charge you a service charge, you may want to do this first. Hopefully this will save you a little money. So let's get to work. Okay, let's go down and take a look at your mirror switches. As you know, if you switch the top switch to the left, then you move down to the four way control pad. And if you move it left to right, your mirror will move left to right. And if you go to the forward control pad again and you move it up and down, your mirror goes up and down, correct? And of course, if you go above the, to the switch above again and you move that rocker switch all the way to the right, you can control the passenger side mirror and do the same thing with the four-way control pad. Now, just for your information, FYI, the rocker switch will either go left or center or right. Now I was told by a master mechanic, I don't know if it's true or not, I'm going to assume it is, is to keep the rocker switch on the center. If you don't do that, let's say for instance you have it powered to the left, the mirror motor will always stay on and it'll eventually burn out quicker. The same thing if it's all the way to the right, your passenger side mirror will eventually burn out quicker. So when not in use, put the rocker switch in the middle position and it'll turn off both your mirrors. And if you also notice, if you have the rocker switch in the middle, your four-way control pad is lit up. And that's how you want your settings to be when you're not using your mirrors. Now to reset your folded mirrors, you want that upper toggle in the middle and you'll see your four-way pad is lit up and you're ready to go. Now what I did is I started my vehicle making sure it's in park and I pressed down in the middle of the forward control pad. I press the right side down just for a moment then release my finger and what that does is it causes the mirror to close. Once it closes press down on the four-way controller and press on the left side and that'll move it back to the open correct position. Now you've completed one cycle of opening and closing your mirrors. You need to do this two more times for a total of three times. Once you've cycled and opened and closed your mirrors three times, 
your mirrors are now reset. See how easy that was? Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.